This is Clapham Common Bunker and it's time to go urban exploring. So then, if you've been following my series on these bunkers, you'll know how these bunkers work. All of the layouts are pretty similar but not quite identical and there's loads of these all over London. These bunkers were built to house 8,000 people in the war and today we're going to be exploring Clapham Common Bunker, which has been converted into a hydroponic salad farm. This is a very interesting use of a bunker. So let's start off by taking a look at the entrances. There's three entrances as always. This is what the north entrance looks like. This is used as the offices for the salad farm. Then you've got the underground station entrance. And on the surface, the underground station entrance is actually further south than the south entrance. But down in the bunker, the underground station entrance is as always in between north and south. And we've also got the south entrance, which looks like this. So then, let's go and explore this bunker and let's first ride the south lift down to the bunker. This is an old wartime Marriott Scott lift that's been heavily modernised with Leicester controls. There we go. Bend down. Yeah. Yeah. Try to end on the weed farm. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're in a cannabis farm. Welcome to Clapham Common Cannabis Farm. <laughs> well, I better go in on your video. Are you going to bring this in? He's running down. Hello, hello, hello. Are they there? Yeah. Oh, oh they've gone to upper, we've gone lower. Lower, baby. Wait, we're coming up. Going up. Okay, sounds like an actual lift, doesn't it? Yeah, Leicester. <laughs> so we took the lift down to lower bunker, then we took it back up to upper bunker. Leicester off by exploring upper bunker level. Wow, this is weird what they've fucking done to this bunker. The modern electrics. They added all this stuff. This is so interesting. And this here's an area where they're preparing to turn it into more hydroponic areas to grow plants. Smells down there, could be weed. And along we go to the hydroponic plant growing area. This is a very interesting use for a bunker. They're growing plants, salad plants, down in this bunker, use it entirely with artificial light. I would never thought an old wartime bunker would be used for this purpose. This is very creative and it's very interesting to have a look around. Oh, fucking hell, this is hot. Wow, look at his farm. There's all your weed growing. There's some more weed. Careful plant. That's this weeds. That's eight elves. That's the dandy grass. There's your cannabis. That looks like it's dead. That looks like it's okay. That is cannabis. That is clover. Because we need to have that. Oh no, it's watercress. That there is empty. Oh, weird. No fan here. Get past. More plants here. More green plants here. This is mine. So then, now we go along to the train station entrance. I didn't get this far though, I want the derby. Yeah, right, there, go right. Where is this, the next one? There's not a station, is there, this one? Yeah, but the station's going to be... Yes, it's the station. Yeah, I told you. The station's this way. <laughs> Stations this way. As always on all of these bunkers, in between north and south entrance, there are stairs going up to what would have gone into the Lund Underground train station, except these have all been bricked up on all of the bunkers. This bit looks like an old bunker. Welcome to the train station. Oh, there goes up the curve. Yeah, and the oxygen's really bad up here. Okay. So then we now go down to lower bunker level, where there's loads of equipment for running the hydroponic system for the plants. Done to it. They've done some weird stuff to this bunker, haven't they? Yeah. Not a fucking 
This bunker doesn't look like any other bunker. It has some funky stuff to it. They turned it into a weed farm. The stairs between upper and lower bunker levels look a bit different than this bunker compared to the others. Goes to the top of the bunker. Let's go back to lower bunker level and continue looking around. This bunker is quite flooded. Oh no, they haven't got nothing pumping any water out. The water tanks are these ones. The turn tanks. That goes up a bunker. And along we go to the main north passageway. Let's first take a look in the service area. Oh, I'll oh, red fire, I'll oh, red fire. That's an upgrade fire. What? Oh wow, there's some interesting shit in here. Oh shit, there's got to be a fan sign. Yeah, now this service area goes down lower than lower bunker level, down to the lowest part of the bunker, the plant room area. Will there be an arc rectifier down here? Sadly, the Mercury Art Rectifier is missing. <laughs> and now let's go and ride the North Lift. Not going to go to the top on this. It's too risky. Then we go up the upper bunker level and we now continue heading northwards along to the processing and packaging area. That's a processing plant now to process it. And we now go along to the north end of the bunker. Up at the north end, if we take a look down at lower bunker, lower bunker is empty here, doing nothing here, it looks no different to Clapham North. It's nothing at the end. Yeah. Nothing at that end. Let's now take a look at the other one of the two parallel tunnels on upper bunker level, where there is more processing equipment. Boxes. That's not fucking good. Marks and Spencers. Well, wow. so everyone, if you want to take some bunker vegetables, go to Marks and Spencers. Fucking paint on the floor, right? It's in here. Nothing. What's the corner, bro? Seven, you head on the other one of the two parallel tunnels back to the central area of the bunker. There goes down to lower bunker. 
Ja, die Leihbanke. And we now head south along to underground office area. And we now continue heading south along to the south end of the bunker. Again, if we take a look down at lower bunker level, there's nothing going on in lower bunker down at the south end. Ooh. Well, it's like happening north. It's literally, they've done nothing on this part. And we now go to the other tunnel of the upper bunker on the south end, where there is some weird stuff. It looks like it's a plant piece. It's like Donna Shabbat. Oh. What is this? That's a UV thingy. UV air treatment. For what drugs? Plant foods. <laughs> Scales. <laughs> it looks like it, doesn't it? My horse. Hey. <laughs> That cop's shit, bro. Uh, it's drugs. <laughs> I don't know, plant food or something. Somewhere, let's go somewhere. This is the old toilets. Yeah. And now let's check the lower service area on the south entrance and let's see if the Mercury Art Rectifier is there this time. Oh, show you Art Rectifier. Sadly, both Mercury Art Rectifiers are missing. Let's now take the south lift back up to ground level and take a look at the motor room. And let's now surf the lift. This is very slow. Then, it has been an adventure. When I first started this, I never thought I'd tick off all eight 
bunkers. I started this mission not really planning on succeeding, I just thought I'd get around a few of them. But my luck seemed to go well this time, just from a lot, a lot of patience, constantly going to these different sites and just checking them again and again and again to catch it at the exact moment when the door hasn't been shut properly so I was able to get in. I had to actually go to Clapham Common Bunker about 15 times until I managed to find it with one of the doors not latched shut properly. But dedication is what pays off because I completed a mission. All eight bunkers ticked off. Then I'll do it. 